Hey guys, um, I'm putting together a little something that I'm going to be posting the download link for soon. Um, what you're looking at right now is a whole bunch of different shapes. Because uh, I actually I got a message from a user who was talking about you know being able to plan out maps because he has trouble finishing them because he kind of just jumps into it and then doesn't really know where he's going. So what I'm doing here, um, it's not un entirely finished yet, so it's not going to be released just yet. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm pretty much making a bunch of prefabs, keeping them in a WAD file, so you can just go in and copy and paste to make your map. So, um, the first, I've, I've numbered each of the rows. The first row, this is like extra stuff. This is like a weapon, this is a weapon corner where the players can get weapons. These are like spawn pads, pretty much. You can you can put weapons here. You can put spawn points here. Health kits, whatever you want. Um, I mean, you've seen if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I use these uh, pretty often. I uh, have some pre-made windows, open windows. I have an open small, open large, and then I have a closed small and a closed large, which these use a uh, glass window that. Um, blocks bullets, etc., etc., and then in here, this is just a different new spawner, and these are archways that you can use for room transitions. Um, and then row two was all of our just main pieces. I have this one, which is rounded. This one's the corner piece. This is just a normal square piece. This is a 256 to 128 adapter. This is a narrow hallway. These are all the narrow pieces over here narrow hallway, narrow corner hallway, then you just have the small corner, small corridors. This is actually a prefab door, which the only thing you need to do when you copy and paste that is you need to change the um, the sector ID of the sector and on the line def argument, but that's not difficult. This is our cross junction, T junction, fat T junction in case you have a larger door or anything like that. This is just a like a funnel piece. Pretty much goes from 256 to 64 to back to uh, 256. And then this is like an L piece and then a rounded L piece. Down here at the bottom we have uh, stairs. These go from zero. These actually go from yeah, these go from zero up to 256. So this is actually for going up a grade. But if you wanted to make these go down, you can also uh, just lower the sector heights accordingly. Um, we have the rounded version, square version, I have adapter version on both sides of the adapter, and this is actually a turbo lift for the small corridors. Let me just run into 3D mode real quick and show you everything in here. I'll start off with the uh, I'll start off with the extras. So you can see here, this is like, this is the weapon corner. It's just a, uh, let me turn highlight off so you can see the textures. It's just a corner, you put a weapon in there, and the player can grab it. It's lit, it's already pre-textured. Um, these actually slope, as does this. Um, you can see these are my style of uh, spawners, item things, etc, etc. And then in here's our window room. There's the small open, there's the small closed, large open, large closed. I'll show you this in-game so you can see everything better. This is like the, the large spawner. These are your archways. And then I'll go into the main pieces. Now the beauty of this is, yeah, they come pre-textured, but you can change these to all fit your theme. So you just change all the textures once, and then you can just start hammering away at mapping. So this is our big rounded room. This is our corner room. This is the uh, just square blank room. This is your adapter. This is the small corridor, small rounded corridor, very small corner corridor, normal. And then this is our pre-made door. Let me just show you the internals of this just so you can see. Uh, it's already got a good deal of detail in there, but like I said, the great thing about this is that it's modular. You can change it however you want. This is our cross junction, our T-junction, fat T-junction, the funnel, L-piece, and the corner L-piece. 
And now let's get back down here into our stair rooms. Now you can see this is our rounded room. The stairs go up. This is just the normal square room. The stairs. This is your funnel, or your uh, 256 to 128 adapter on that side, and then you have them on this side as well, so it uh, so they go both ways, and then your lift, where you just walk onto it, it lifts you up, and then you're up here, so you can, s you can see that a lot better from the side, but uh, that's pretty much what we're working with, um, and this right here is something I literally put together, and it, I'm pretty sure it took me about 25 to 30 seconds to actually put this together, so just by copying and pasting and rotating flipping some stuff around and I changed the thing IDs on the doors I have in here this is what we've got so far All right. So as you can see here this is like the main room that I used you've got your connector over here this is our T-junction and I literally just drug each piece to sync up right there you can see where they connect um, then here's our our end rooms. Here's the funnel. Made. Now we're back on the other side, and we can make our way back the way we came. So I was able to put together a good a good chunk of level in in seconds. And the best thing is, if you want to add little details, like I'm going to take one of these windows. The only thing you have to do with the windows is you'll probably have to texture them each time you put them on because it's just the way Doom Builder is. But I look, I copy and paste. I'm going to drag it. Let me change my grid so I can get this properly aligned. I'm going to put a window right there. So now if we go into here... Yeah, see? So you'll have to, you'll have to texture the windows, but not that big of a deal you just put whichever texture you're using on the upper and lower they're already unpegged so when you copy and paste it you don't have to worry about unpegging again but this is our our outdoor area so I'll take I'll keep that window there and let's see let's see how it looks with a matter of five seconds of copy paste and slight editing there's our window we can see outside it blocks everything so I'm really I'm really looking to speed up the creation of Doom maps, but not necessarily in a bad way either, because, uh, you know, it's not it's not supposed to be the map, but it's supposed to get the framework down relatively quick, so then you can go through and just add detail into each room. You can change everything. Like, say, I took this cross junction and just merged it with each of these pieces. I took the T junction, and if you want everything to still look more symmetrical, I mean, you can you can slide things around as you need them to that's the beauty about it once they're once they're connected you're free to you're free to mold it and shape it however you need like if you wanted these to look longer you can do that it's 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 pretty uh pretty user friendly pretty easy and uh i'm hoping that you guys can use this and speed up your map time. I'm going to take another one of these uh, windows. All I'm doing is copying and pasting. Again, going to have to... There we go. Get that lined up. So now we go back into our 3D editor. If we come over this way, here's our new big window. Same thing. Whip the texture on there. Boom. Boom. Save. And now we have a nice big window to look out at, at the very beginning of the level. So as simple as that, you've got a pretty decent looking map in a matter of a couple minutes just by placing some prefabricated pieces together. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep making more pieces and uh, then I'm going to post the download link on here for you guys so you can... Uh, so you can download it yourselves and give it a shot. But uh, for right now, that's it. I just wanted to show you that I was working on this. I'm going to be getting some more pieces in the works. As you can see here, uh, the decor decorative uh, pieces are a little low, as well as the stair pieces. So once I finish the 
the main pieces. I might add a couple more uh, shapes, sizes, lengths, etc. But most of it you can make on your own anyway. But I'll make I'll make a decent amount so that uh, it's good for a beginning map maker. But that is it for today.